Hello, everybody, and welcome back to an episode of The Long Dark. Sorry if I don't sound totally awake. I'm kind of not. I uh, woke up pretty late today and didn't do a long dark last night because I got too distracted with other things that I was doing and uh, <laughs> just totally forgot about it. Ended up trying to catch up on some sleep because I'd been waking up really early lately and uh, just kind of forgot. So I do apologize. So this episode is going to be late. But uh, thank you for waiting. I went through the long dark comments from last time. Oh man, it is snowing out here pretty hard. Pretty windy too. Um, and it feels like extremely cold. So that's not good. Uh, we are going to try to work our way down to the camp uh, office, I believe it is. We go this way. Should have get on the railroad tracks and follow that down. We should find it. Pretty cold out though. I wish it would lighten up. We'll see. But yeah, so I went through some of your comments from the last Long Dark video, and a lot of you were saying that the, uh, the, I believe it's like Timber Wolf Mountain or something. I'm probably totally off. I can't remember what the name of it. But, uh, the area that I didn't know existed when we started the last episode, when I was looking at the areas to spawn into. And, uh, some of you were saying, no, that's a really, really good area. Like, I should go there. So, that's a new goal now, is we can try to work our way to that new area. Um, yeah. So, it's, uh, it's pretty much, that's pretty much it. Is, uh, we're gonna work our way to, like, the camp office. Maybe we can try to do some fishing. I don't know if we have any supplies for that, but, uh, it would be nice if we could do that. And, uh, we will also try to get ourselves to the dam because the dam is going to be full of supplies uh and then we might work our way to we got a hatchet now that's nice we might work our way to the coastal highway might be a good place to go um so yeah we got a hatchet which is nice because we didn't have a knife or a hatchet or any sort of tool to use and a hatchet will actually come in handy with knocking down furniture and stuff like that so yeah um we are in a pretty good position just because of our, our amazing spawn i believe it's this way i could be wrong so i'm pretty i'm feeling pretty lucky we'll see if we can keep this going and see how long we can survive and not do something stupid like kill ourselves after 55 days but uh We'll see. <laughs> That's part of the long dark. And a lot of you are uh, recommending that I check out Firewatch. You said it's a game that kind of looks like it resembles the long dark. I did check it out. I didn't buy it, but I looked into it. I saw some people playing it. And uh, it's very short. Very sh uh, story driven. Um, and it's very short. So I just didn't really want to spend the money on it after you would, you know, complete it fairly quickly. So, um... Yeah, it just, it seems like a fun game. It did. Um, but I just, I don't know. I didn't want to spend the money on a game that was really short. And it doesn't really have the same aspects as a long dark. I mean, you're kind of out in the wilderness and stuff like that. But with the long dark, you're trying to survive that one. You're more just kind of doing things. It's more story driven and stuff like that. So I'm interested in seeing how the storyline for this game is going to be because... As of right now, it's kind of based only on survival. That's what it's about. You have to survive as long as you can, and the survive, the uh, surviving uh, mechanics are, you know, already put in place. I wonder how putting a storyline on top of that is going to make it even better or different, or you know, how is that going to work? It's going to be pretty interesting because if you die from just exposure during a mission or a storyline thing, then what? You know, I don't know. On. It's very cold out here. Uh, we don't need to check out that because I don't think there's anything down there. If anything, it's just a backpack. Nothing crazy. Uh, we do have to walk along the tracks, though, until we find the camp office. Or, yeah, we'll probably stop off at the camp office because that has some pretty good, pretty good stuff there. And if we can, we'll try to go fishing since the lake is right there. But we need to be concerned that we're not going to run into a wolf or any other sort of animal. Um, I believe we have, yeah, we have a weapon with a couple bullets in it. Um, I would like to get a knife just before we go hunting again, just so I actually have a quick tool to, uh, get the meat and the hide and everything off of, uh, animals that we need. We also have to find a good place to put the animal, uh, skins so they can cure. 
because otherwise, you know, just holding a bunch of hides isn't going to do anything. We need to put them somewhere. Mm, it's getting a little warmer. At least the wind isn't blowing. It's still snowing, but not that bad. We do need to get inside and warm up, but I think the camp office is coming up here pretty shortly. I don't think it's too far away. At least from what I can remember. Is it right over here? I think it might be right here to the right. We might already be there. Not that far. I would also like to find the hatch. If they're still in the game. I don't know. I know they were in the game a long time ago. I don't know if they're still in the game. But I would like to find a hatch. Just because I've seen people finding the hatch. And it's like just some amazing equipment. So. That would be nice. Like I said. I don't even know if they exist anymore. I'm not sure. They, they probably do. But I know the spawns are random. They're not the same every time. Here's the camp office. We'll stop off here. Pick up whatever supplies it holds. Hopefully we have something to go fishing. Since the lake is right here. And we can just fish. Because the fishing is probably the easiest way to get food. It really is. Okay. Nope. Alright. Check out the camp office. See what's inside. Let's see what's inside. So yeah, I'm sorry I, I sound very tired. I, uh... It was a busy weekend. It really was. I was doing a lot. Um, hanging out with, uh, Polecat and my buddy Danny. And, uh... Ooh, Weatherstone. That's good. And, uh, we were doing some projects, working on some things. Uh, me and Polecat and my... And Danny went to, uh... A truck stop. Kind of out... Not in the middle of nowhere, but a pretty good distance from where we are. And, uh... Picked up a CB radio, which is pretty cool, because we always end up driving multiple vehicles, like in a convoy. Uh, it's because everybody kind of just likes driving their own car, so it ends up that we have no way to communicate. And we bought some really cheap walkie-talkies, and they were so utterly garbage that we had to invest in some better things. So we went out and bought some CBs, which actually weren't that bad, because CBs are kind of... Oh, is that a... Ooh, that's, that's a line. We need a hook. Yes. No. Get the hook. There we go. Can we put this together real quick? How long does it take to put a fishing tackle together? Ten minutes? Let's do it. Okay, so we can go fishing. That's good. But yeah, so we, um... We, uh, we have CBs, which isn't that expensive because they're, you know, they're very not... They're not popular anymore. Nobody... Nobody really uses CBs anymore. Um, so they're pretty cheap. You can pick some... Pick, pick like, a decent one up for, like, a hundred bucks. Um... So, uh, we got some CBs, so now we can talk to each other, which was a pretty cool project to put those in, and stuff like that. And, um, yeah, I just got distracted with, uh, everything else. We're, we're planning a trip soon-ish, and, uh, we need to make sure our cars are gonna be in order. I almost forgot that. Can of beans. And, um, yeah, it's just, it's just, yeah, I just got busy, <laughs> pretty much. And, uh, overslept. I was like, oh, I'm gonna catch up on some sleep. I don't have anything to do. I got my videos done. Uh, no. I did not have my videos done. I had, uh, I had forgotten the long dark. I, and then I woke up and I was, like, sitting here and I'm, you know, talked to Zach for a minute. And I'm like, wait a sec. I look over at my whiteboard and I go, why isn't there a long dark written up there? Mm, well, because you forgot it. I was like, ah, oh, shit. And I haven't had coffee or anything, and I was like, well, uh, if I can record it now, then I can at least get it out today at not a terribly reasonable time. Or not a terribly unreasonable time, at least somewhat. Do I need, I'm not going to take the bedroll. I feel like it's just going to be actually, yeah. I need to drop something. Yeah, I do need to drop something. I need to start kind of sorting this out. Let's actually, let's turn this off just so we can kind of not burn through the not burn through it so let's go ahead and harvest this I know it's gonna take a little bit of time but we're gonna get a ton of cloth from it and uh, it's just better not having it around uh, we have two of these I don't think I can heart well I can harvest it uh, let's go ahead and harvest that just get a piece of scrap metal because I think we can even work scrap metal into fishing line if I'm not mistaken that could be mistaken. I'm probably mistaken. Uh, yeah, we have 13. Yeah, that's a lot. 
Um, we're doing all right. We're a little bit, we're a little bit overweight here, but uh, you know we can once we eat too, which we actually need to do. This is really gonna knock it down because then let's go ahead and eat, you know, two pounds of of meat. That's a lot of meat. And then drink some water. That'll definitely see. Look, knocked us down. We're below 66 now, so we're good. I'm just gonna check real quick if this, uh, if we can make uh, the scrap metal into hooks and line. We need cured guts, uh, so we don't have any more lines. And it's not really a point to make it hooks. Well, hold on. Yeah, let's make some hooks. Why not? We're going to make hooks, so then when we ever do eventually end up getting lines, at least we have the hooks. So, we'll make two, or a lot of hooks, why not? Fishing is very uh, beneficial. A good thing to have. But I think what we might do is save the dam for the next episode, and we're going to go out here and we're going to fish outside. Um, in this extremely bright weather. God, it's very bright out here. Um, so yeah, we're gonna fish out here, get some food, maybe shoot that deer, get a deer hide, check this corpse, and uh, yeah, just do some of the things that we should do now, and then uh, then head off to the dam. I wonder if we can kill this deer. I wonder if it's worth killing the deer. No, let's go fishing. Let's not worry about killing the deer, let's go fishing. We discovered Mystery Lake. We can also check out all these cabins, too. I totally forgot about all the cabins around the lake as well. I have to be concerned about wolves. There's a lot of wolves out here. That deer is pretty close. I could probably shoot it and be okay with it, but... Yeah. Not really worth it. I need to conserve ammo. Not that, uh... We only have, what, half a clip? Not that much. Yeah, we need to be concerned about wolves out here and stuff like that, so. I don't see anything as of yet, which is good. But yeah, we can check out all the cabins, like the ones over there and over there, stuff like that. They have some pretty decent stuff in them. I remember last time I was out this way and I was checking out cabins, there was a bear. That wasn't very cool. Oh, God, more firewood. Oh, they're giving me the heavy stuff now. The game knows. The game knows I'm really close on, uh... Come oh, come on. This I'm, like, finding the most... <laughs> everything. I never find this much stuff. And now that I'm close to being completely filled up, they're like, yeah, give them everything. Give them a scarf and 17 things of lumber. Okay. So let's try to put the scarf on. We also need to warm up a little bit, too, because we're pretty cold. We, are, we already have a scarf, actually. Oh, and this hat, too. Okay, a lot of you are saying I shouldn't get rid of the hat. I should harvest it. You're right. I'm just, I'm still kind of also in the same uh, mindset as in I've survived for a lot of time. So some objects of clothing you don't really need, you can kind of just get rid of or just drop on the ground. Like it's not even worth harvesting them. Um, but I'm not at that stage yet. So I just, I, I need to remember that. So yeah, you guys are right that I should uh, harvest the clothing I don't need for cloth. To repair my old clothing, which it does need. So, is there a door on this one? If there's a door on this one, I'm gonna hide down here and I'm gonna like repair some of my clothing and maybe fish. I don't like the ones that don't have doors on them; they're a little bit sketchy. Be careful of this island too. It's a, it's a, uh, it's a wolf's paradise over here. There we go. Look at this. Got a nice door. There's a fish on it. We can look outside and see all the wolves coming around. Surrounding me. Police sweater. Don't know if that's going to be better than anything I have, but we'll check it out. So much cloth. Oh, another hook. Uh, I need line, though. So I should have shot that deer for the guts to get more cloth. What the heck? To get uh, line. That would have been that would have came in handy. Okay. So, what was I doing? Okay, yeah, right. I'm going to start a fire. Wait. No, I have no purpose to start a fire. Let's use the hatchet and break open the ice. We're going to do some fishing. 
because I can set up a bedroll in here. I can kind of camp out in here for the night. So, hours to fish. Uh, let's do two hours to start. Let's see what happens in two hours. See how many fish we catch, because fish are heavy, too. I don't like carrying too many fish around. We found a lake whitefish. It is four pounds. That's pretty heavy. So nothing, only just one, one fish. Oh god. That doesn't sound good. So, how are we on our condition? We're still pretty tired, we're pretty hungry, and we're pretty thirsty. So we need to fix that. So yeah, I'm probably going to repair my clothing here. I might even just spend the night here. Um, I might need to start a fire to get some more water, because we're getting pretty low on water. We can cook up this fish, cook up some food. Uh, we can sit here and repair our clothing. Which one's better? Definitely, definitely the one I already have. So yeah, we can repair our clothing, which will help just a little bit, at least. And I think a storm just came in anyway. Or fog. I'm gonna keep this door closed. <laughs> Let's keep that closed. Don't want that open. Um, that's gonna refreeze, probably. But what I can do, why don't I go ahead and just do it now. But place this right by the fish hole. Let's place it on top of the fish hole, actually. There we go. Boom. Now I can sleep in here. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go ahead and, and end this episode here. I know this wasn't the most entertaining episode, just because I moved from, like, one place to another and didn't really do much, but, uh, in the next episode, I'm gonna clean out the rest of the cabins around here, and then we'll make our way over to the dam and clean out the dam. And as soon as we've done that, we're ready to go into the coastal highway. So, uh, we need to start getting some, some, uh, hides, uh, kind of accumulated in our inventory so we can set those down as soon as we get into the gas station on the coastal highway uh, in the coastal township and we can start letting those cure so we can start working on the good the good uh, clothing so but in the next episode we'll start off in this cabin right where we are I'll probably have some repaired clothes uh, resemblance or you know little bits of fire left going maybe but we'll see but I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to hit the like button. It really does help me out. Uh, I also just want to say very quickly, I know I normally don't do this, but I just wanted to thank all of you for watching this series. Um, it's not one of my most popular series, but it's a series that I really do enjoy doing. And I know that a lot of you look forward to doing it. And I know a lot of you want more than one episode a week. It's just not possible. Um, if it was a more popular series, that would definitely be easy to do. It's just not. But I just want to thank... The people that do actually watch this and continue to watch it and look forward for it, to it week for week. I know sometimes I can be late on episodes and everything, but uh, I just wanted to thank you guys for supporting me in this series and uh, watching every week and uh, giving me a lot of tips. It's really nice seeing the comments about how everybody is, you know, talking about their game and helping people out and talking about where to get some good supplies and stuff like that. And it's just really nice to see. So I just wanted to thank you guys for being so supportive with my series and just everybody in the comments, how everyone gets along very well about, you know, the overall enjoyment of the game. So anyway, thanks for that. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.